In this video, we're going to focus on how we can connect the time series and then we want to customize the date in the tooltip. As you can see here in the title of the tooltip, it shows you a certain structure like 8 a.m. and it doesn't show these minutes and seconds. So this kind of customization is very useful. So let's start to explore how we can do this in Chart.js. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to format dates in the tooltip in Chart.js. So this came, this question came from one of my other videos about how to add more information in the tooltips in Chart.js. And this is a very interesting video because it covers uh, everything what you need to know about tooltips and customizing it. And then in here, the question came from Shubhangi Ingo, and this is what Shubhangi Ingo said, asked. Hi, I have a tooltip title as date, example, and then you can see here the example date. And I have the x-axis type mentioned as time series, and I want the date on the tooltip as this specific format, which if you compare the differences, it is basically focused here on the 11 a.m. Well, here we have 11 a.m. with specified time, uh, minutes, and, uh, and seconds. So how to do that? I have tried using substring, but I get the problem after 10 a.m. Instead of 10, it is showing 1. It cuts out the zero and also have the problem for putting AM or PM at the end. Can you please help? Yes, of course. Let's start to explore. Substring here is not possible because you will get an issue by removing automatically values. And um, probably not only on 10 AM, but if you would have here for in these items here, for example, this 20 will be removed. And here, if this will be 10 or 20, the zero will be removed out of it as well. So let's start to look what we have to do here, because basically what we need here is the format in JavaScript itself related to dates. So what I'm going to do here, right now you might notice that I'm using a Firefox instead of Google Chrome, because I have some issues with Google Chrome currently, so I'm using Firefox, and now I have all, now this will work all fine. So first of all, I'm going to copy this chunk, chunk of code here, and this chunk of code is basically on this specific website here. It's chargers3.com, getting started. And if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this video. That goes into detail. Of that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to paste this in here. Once we paste that in here, I'm going to just move the title in here. That is basically for me, not necessarily for you. Save that and then refresh. All right. So now we have this. What we need to do now is, first of all, I'm going to convert it into a line chart to make it just a bit more easier to read, remove all these colors, and what we're going to do is eventually we're going to apply the time series. So how we're we going to do that? Well, first of all, let's get a color. So I'm going to just get this nice black color here. I'm going to cut out everything. We will cut out that specific color and then paste that specific color in here. Make sure you have a comma there. Same with this array. I'm going to put it in here, and this I will just make a solid one. All right, so that's the alpha value is one, so it's very solid. We have this here. I'm going to convert it into a line chart. Save this, refresh. You can see here now we have this. What I want to do here for this line, just to make it more elastic, because this is a very straight, uh, pointy line. So let's the border width is one. Let's remove that. We're going to convert it to tension, which will make the item elastic. And then we say 0 0.4. So we will grab the default border width, which is three pixels, and then you have a nice elastic line here that looks very nice. All right, so now we have this. The next thing what we need to do here is basically in the type, or while well, we have the type of line, in here we're going to work with the X scale. The X scale need to now understand that we are going to work with a date. We will have to grab the date, and how will we do that? Well, we say X, then we say here type. And this type here is called time series. So then we put a comma here. So basically, what we're doing here is like in charge, as you have the Cartesan, and then we have the Cartesan type. Which by default, is a category, which is just this here. But now we want not a category, we want a time or time with hours, dates, etc. etc. So it will convert that. Of course, our structure, if we refresh right now, it does not work. And the reason why it doesn't work is we don't have yet the structure in place. So let's start to work with the structure in place because this here will understand. Here, later on, our customization on this specific item here. Because right now, it grabs the labels. But the labels now is not allowed. Time series will remove labels. And basically, it cannot read anything anymore. That's why it's all blank here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just comment this out. And then you will see the difference here. So I'm going to say a date. 
And here you have brackets, and then here we are going to put in, make sure you have comma here by the way, here we're going to put in curly braces. So when we say here x colon, so x equal, then we're going to put in here specific date. Remember, JavaScript works with a specific date format, so let's say here if we're going to get today's date, 2021, and then it's 10 October, and today is number 9. So we have like this comma and then we say the y value and the y value is just this value here above so i'm going to grab that one put it in there so once we have this i'm going to put a comma here and then i will duplicate this six more times so we have in total seven items that's three four five six and seven all right now we have this 10 just changing the dates 11 12 13 sorry 15 and oh that will be 15 14. So here I'm going to change the values 12, 6, just getting this one here above. So it doesn't matter, you can do any value you want here, it does not matter. So if I save this now, I'm just going to remove this comma here, but make sure you have the comma here. So if I save this now, refresh, we still get an error. Why do we get this error? We have now everything correctly done, except for one thing. We need to make sure that time series understand that this is a specific date, so it will convert it into a numbering date and it's basically something that is a bit more complicated but we need for that a specific javascript library that one here charge.js has the one that says there's two options you can use the charge.js adapter date fns or you can use the chart adapter locksum difference between the two i know that date fns has a very tough uh, documentation it's quite hard to understand and uh, locksum has a easier documentation the only difference here is with with the adapter date or the date fns i only need to copy the adapter date here like this one if i want to use Luxon, i need to get the Luxon original and the adapter so you need you need two additional javascript files that's why i will take the date fns adapter so i only need one specific javascript file so you don't need to load more so less is more i guess so that's better However, if you need this and then you need to convert something in dates, you, the other Luxon is easier to use. So now if I save this here and I notice we get an issue here, let's see what's going on. Why do we have this issue? All right, open up here the developer tab, uncut type error, what is going on here, the range chart. All right, all right, it shows all kinds of things here. R is undefined. So what am I missing here? R is undefined, it shows this. We have the label here, we have this removed. That one, are we missing something here? This is the date FNS adapter, the latest one. Time series, type time series. Let's remove this, just to make sure. All right, so I'm going to just check what's going on here. All right, so. After some checking, I don't know why this one is not working. However, and then I just go to the official charges documentation, and then in there you can just find it. So if you want, if you're wondering how did I get there, if you go to charges.org, you click here on ecosystem, you click on awesome, and then in here we scroll down, and we are looking for the uh, adapter. I just saw it here above. Click on that. Click on the date FNS, and apparently we need to have a very specific one with the bundle. I thought it was already there but this is the one we need date fns bundle min.js so just copy that one once you copy that remove the one we have here save that and there we are so now that works so it works here with just one single file while uh, uh, locksum requires two so now we have this let's hover over here right now you will see here what's going on we got the date, and the date is already in a certain structure. And what we want to do now is just to convert this. So how are we going to convert this? So with this, we need to work here in the options, and then we're going to go in the plugins. And in the plugins, we have the tool tip. And in the tool tip, we're going to focus here now on callbacks. So what we need to do is we need to create a callback, but there's a thing here. We're going to focus on the callback specifically on the title. Remember the question was on the title, why the title? Because the, the, the top part of the tooltip is the title section. So October 10, etc., etc. that's what we're going to adjust. So what we will say here, title, 
and then we say here you can use here this is a uh, we, we, going, you know, we get here the context and the context is basically a parameter normally you have function and then you would do parameter but now that's not you can do it also like this and I'm trying to get more professional in my coding this is a better structure removing function from your coding because this is uh, this is apparently more efficient all right so we have this here and this is the arrow function so then we say here the first thing what I want to do is I want to grab this context here and then I say console.log just to see what this context does if I save this now you will see that the title here will not work anymore uh, let's see are we missing something context let's see here property are we missing what are we missing oh of course sorry make sure you have a comma here is that there we are so now you can see we're not seeing anymore the title but the array here when you hover over it you will be able to see it and this is right now what we see and that's nice so with this we can start to work with because what we really need is not really this but we're going to dig deeper we go on the zero and then in the zero we're going to look for something very specific it's called the raw uh, let's see here you can see here the raw data which is basically the data we have inserted here in the data set area and that's basically this one here and you got the X so I hope you are able to see it in the I know that Google Chrome is just a bit more easier to read compared to this but that's alright for now so we have the, the X so we have the raw and X and remember we go all up we start at zero so context zero why context zero? when you hover over it will trigger and it will just show this specific value so we say here now context zero and then we say dot we're going to get the raw dot x save this refresh and now we would see here the specific date and this is just the date we have inserted in our data here as i indicated but now what we need is now we have to convert, uh, convert this into a or format this into the date structure that we desire so for this we're going to say the following. We say your first constant equals new, and we have date. And what we do here basically is the following. We're going to grab the item here. We want to convert this into a readable date, which is probably a number stream. It's like a, a, col a collection of numbers that's been calculated. Or probably it's in milliseconds. A day is counted in milliseconds, and it's, I don't know, it's like 60,000 seconds or something. It's equals to one minute or milliseconds. Something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but it's somewhere like that. And then you have like 200,000 uh, milliseconds would equal to something else, to a day or something. Well, probably a bit more, but I, I don't know the numbers, but you can Google them. Most important one is that you understand what we're doing. We're going to convert it into a readable number. And from that number, we can start to calculate. So then we say here, constant for, let's say here, formatted date. So this will be the day that we want and we want to grab here the d we say d that's the variable and then we say here to local string and in the local string and this is a quite powerful one you can do a lot here because basically what we're going to do is we're going to break it down and we're going to work with this entire item here this here is really useful javascript to local string and you can see here every option you can do including date styles, uh, hours, etc., etc. So everything we you need, you can find here. So what I'm going to do here is basically the following. I want to get the year, because that was the request. We want the year. And you say here, what is the year? Uh, let's look for it. That is a numeric value. Remember, this is a string, comma, and then what we have here, month, and the month is also a string if you look at month but do we want two digits long narrow short the numeric short let's get short that's three letters comma then we get the next one which would be the day because that was also a request and the day would be a, a numeric or two digits so i would say numeric it removes the zero from the one like zero one uh, but that doesn't make any sense so this would be better the next one we would say is this and this is the one that you are probably struggling with is the 12 hours now we have the hours of course and the 12 hours will be afterwards let's grab the hours first and then we say here the hours could be two digits here and it should be also a string it's all string 
comma. If you would like to have minute, you do minute and you already figure it out, minute with E, sorry, and then uh, you figure out this here, seconds as well. So we have this one. Now what I want to do here is the 12 hour. So we want to say this is E 12 hour or hour 12. Hour 12, and then we say here, this will be true. The moment we do this, we have all of this, and then what we could do here, semicolon here, enter, and then we say return, and what are we going to return? We're going to return this specific date here, semicolon here, save this, go back here, refresh, and now if you hover over it, you can see now we have the item minus, we have AM, PM, and we have here no minutes, no seconds. If you want to put in a minute, minute, and then here, uh, two digits, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, minute, uh, minute, 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 two digits or numeric. So we can do here two digits. So there will be a sample. So you have an understanding of it. But this is basically how you play around. Comma here, of course, always comma. Save that. Go back here, refresh. Uh, it's loading. Am I correct? Yes. And I'm surprised why it's loading so, so much. I'm afraid that maybe my internet is currently not working. I just paused the video for a minute. All right, so it just took some time, but now it suddenly works. Hover over, you can see now I have eight column zero zero indicating the minutes as well. Beautiful. So this is basically how you do it. Remove that one and that will be the answer here. For anyone who would like to understand two tips more, I'm going to refer back to this specific video here. I highly recommend you to check out this because with this, you can customize anything in here. And now if you understand how you can customize dates, you can play around with it completely.